A lot of people ask me um, what my religion is because I call myself Christian, but it deviates from the normal concept of Christianity. Um, I don't consider myself any sort of denomination, but not non-denominational either, because there's this misconception about the Lord God that uh, annoys the hell out of me. It annoys me because um, they say God is love, God is compassion, when pe most people don't even know what that means. What is love? What is compassion? Is that just letting evil run amok and letting us suffer because we live in a world that is so vile and wretched that we cannot even grow or become anything worthwhile? So, um, you can't see it too well, but I'm wearing my crucif uh, my, um, my rosaries, and uh, I wear these rosaries to symbolize my transitional period into a spiritual being that is of the Lord, is of God, and um, people think, uh, I'm not one to believe that you have to actually be Christian, call yourself so, get baptized or any of that, to be Christian. If you are of that spiritual likeness, you will grow into a being of God and be one with God, whether or not you choose to be. You're, what you want, what you think means nothing. All that matters is what you are, what you feel, what you do, what you become. So how you how you perceive the matter is irrelevant. Your perception of reality is based off a third dimension materialistic perception. And while on some primitive level we can conceive the idea, it is not nearly enough to master it or to practice it the way we would want to. It is merely something we can observe and very crudely. What I mean by this is that uh, a lot of people are Christians and don't realize it, and a lot of people that think they're Christians aren't. I think most people can agree with that, but the difference is that um, when I say I worship God, I never claim God is loving. I never claim God is going to save you even. I don't believe in a savior. I believe in a just being that will pass righteous judgment upon every living thing on the planet, the universe. There is this quasar that travels the cosmos and takes vengeance upon all that is wicked. All. Everything. There is no escape from it. There is no turning back. There is no begging or pleading or bribing or intimidating such a being. There is only death and destruction that awaits you. Now, some ask me why I would worship such a being, because clearly such a being only has two outcomes. Either you are going to be utterly annihilated by it, or you are going to be a part of it. You will either be assimilated or you will be destroyed. So why would you worship such a being? Because you want to be as that being. You do not worship out of fear. You do not worship out of, you know, some desire for a better life. I mean, I guess you kind of do, but it isn't a paradise. It isn't something that, you know, you're going to be with your family and your doggy and it's going to be all fun and games. It is a higher state of being. It is evolution. That is why you worship the gods that you do. And not all of you worship the same god. I am not saying that there is, you know, there is only one god. I guess I am saying there is only one god, but there is only one God with a capital G. There is a multitude of gods with a small g. And these multitude of gods are, you know, powerful thought forms that have taken on a life of their own, probably always existed, always will exist, but none of them are good. You know, there is different concepts of good and evil, and all these concepts are contradictory to the ideas of justice and failure and righteousness. So, that is what I mean when I talk about God and the devil, or devils, I should say, plural, and things like that. Um, you know, if you are not, if your heart is not filled with hate, bitterness, vengeance, or egalitarian principles of equality, there is nothing godly about you. You, that's why you see most of these libertarians and other people becoming so common, because your heart is filled with ungodly thoughts. You are demonic in every sense of the word. 
So, you know, and all these concepts such as equality and revenge and, you know, just hatred for mankind and all the ills they commit is but a minuscule part of the equation. It is the tip of the iceberg of the being that is God and his justice. But that does not construed from the fact that that's a healthy start. That is where you start on the path to becoming as God, a, a part of it, a, a part of something greater than yourself. And, you know, I don't believe we're all, I don't know, I'm not going to say whether or not that when you become part of that greater evolution, you'll lose your sense of individuality. I don't personally believe that. I believe that spirits retain some form of consciousness and self-awareness, but inevitably it acts on behalf of that greater good. It acts on behalf of that greater thought form. So um, that's why I worship God, but do not necessarily call myself a Christian in most cases, only when I find it relevant to practicing my religion, only when it's relevant to, you know, condoning that. And, and I don't seek to convert people. I don't give a shit what you believe. Because 99.9% .9 of what everybody believes is bullshit that's just going to lead down a wrong path. And including Christianity for the most part. So I don't worry about that shit. In fact, I worry less about it because while I do believe in these things, I do not know if I am of self-awareness enough to be the one teaching you. I don't know if my way will lead me down the path of righteousness and of justice. I hope so, but I might evolve into another creature I had no idea. Look at it like Pokemon. Maybe you're a Pikachu and you're hoping that your lifestyle and your actions will lead you to become a Raichu and instead you evolve into a fucking Weezing. You don't know. It is like, it, think of it just like that. You're a Pokemon, and you don't know what you're going to become by the end of the day. But you, I am aware that you will become something. You are something now, and that is evidence that you will be something else in the future. And it will most likely be related to that. Whatever you do in life is just a, a shadow, a reflection of what you will be in death. That is what I believe, That so I'm not going to do many videos other than about religion because there's no need. It's all talked about right.